he didn't go on Herbalife, he didn't go on Juice Plus, he wasn't intermittent fasting. This is my dog Bruce, he's a chocolate lab, which as a breed they have a genetic love for food. And seen there. So given the chance, they would quite easily eat an entire bag of food, he'd then be sick and he would continue eating it. So when we got him uh, from the dog's trust, he was very very overweight and we had to make sure he lost all the weight. Now, he didn't go on Herbalife, he didn't go on Juice Plus, he wasn't intermittent fasting, nothing like that, no fat diets. All I did was fed him less and moved him a bit more. <laughs> Simple as that. So my point is that he only gets the food that he needs, he gets exercised a lot and he still gets an odd treat, which is how it should be. Now, unfortunately as a society, I think we've got very confused because of things like celebrity endorsements on Instagram, fad diets, fake news, all these kind of things, that we forgot the simple fact that it comes down to how much you move and how much you eat. You don't hear people making excuses for their dogs not being able to lose weight. Things like, oh, Bruce can't lose weight because of his genetics. No, it comes down to how much I feed him and how much I walk him. If he ended up gaining a bit of weight, I'd just feed him less and move him a bit more. That's, that's as simple as that. So next time you hear somebody talking about genetics or any kind of thing in weight loss, just think back to a dog. It's a bit of a strange observation, but it's quite a, an effective one. So I hope this helps. Cheers!